I'm here with Dr. Amato and Mr. F today. Uh, we're gonna talk to Mr. F about his experience with the DAP. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, I'm Professor of Organic Chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Orgoman products, as well as the author of the DAT Destroyer. Many times, students see these blazing scores and they never really see the face attached to these scores. They have SDN, which is really not a credible site that kids can really communicate effectively with and you don't know what's fact or fantasy. So what I want to do is introduce you to one of my students, we call him Mr. F. He's from Egypt, English is not his first language, but I want to give you an idea of what grades look like from a student who worked in my class with me. He used the Dat Destroyer book, he used the Math Destroyer book, and this is a kid who's worked so hard and he's just got done with the Dat two days ago. These were his scores. In the Organic Chemistry section, he got a 30, in the biology section, he got a 28, and the gen chem, he got a 22. And if you go to our Facebook study group, you would see he posted his scanned ADA score sheet, so you can take a look at that. And the total science was a 26. He got an 18 in the PAT, a 17 in the math, and he got a 15 in the reading. Although the reading, I admit, is a little bit on the low side, we're going to discuss this with him. Um, English is not his first language, but we'll discuss with him and we're going to hear his thoughts on it. Okay. Um, Sorry, I'm late. Come on in. This is Mr. Raj. He's another student. Congratulations. What's up? What's up, Raj? How are you? Uh, my man. What's going on, Raj? This is Raji Raj. You might recognize him. He's only about, what, six foot eight? <laughs> no. He's only six foot nine, <laughs> so um, he's sort of an intimidating guy, but he's sort of a gentle giant. He's also one of the top guys here that's going to do very well in the dad, I think. So he'll be up. When are you taking your dad? Another? The very first in July. All right. So we're going to be hope we're going to be doing an interview with you as well. All right. All right. We, we would like to ask you a few questions, Mr. F. Okay. And Raj, I guess you can ask him the first question. Um, and hopefully this will answer some of the questions that kids are asking me. Sure. How did you study for the bio? The bio section. Um, first of all, I read uh, bio notes. Dr. Romano's bio notes. Okay. It wasn't easy. It was really hard. And then after I finished the bio notes, I started the bio destroyer section. Yeah. I went over all the questions in the bio section. It wasn't the easy thing to do, but I knew where I'm at from the bio. I know what I'm good, what I'm bad. Did you then, do sets of questions like kids are always saying? Did you do five questions, ten questions? How exactly did no, you break them up? No. I was doing as much as I can every day. I wasn't making no timing. I never timed myself. Uh, so you agree that's all a lot of bullshit that these companies bullshit. try to scam I'm, these kids into taking these time exams and you dump three or four hundred dollars into their program made by dental students and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. So you don't Those are it. useless. I never timed myself till the last day. I don't know like how long it's gonna take me to finish the bio section or the chemistry section. And I didn't have any problem in the exam. I finished my science section. I like I had actually five minutes like to go over the questions. I never had a problem with the timing. Uh, so when when I finished the bio notes the first time, I went over the questions in the bio. Uh, it wasn't easy, but I knew what I have to go back and look at in the notes. Like the genetics wasn't my favorite thing, so I went back. I studied like more of the genetics. How about the Campbell book? Did you ever have a, a, a look at the Campbell book? Or never looked at it. No, I don't even have it. All right. <laughs> Only the bio notes. Nothing else. Bio notes. Destroyer book. Uh, there is like almost seven hundred questions in the bio section in the Destroyer book. Uh, go. Oh, know all the 700 questions don't only know the questions like you got wrong mm -hmm. the ones you got right you have to check the wrong answers and you know why they are wrong from the solution yeah you have to know why this answer is wrong like why your answer is right and why the rest of the answers doesn't make sense, makes sense. okay um, if you get it right doesn't mean you know it yet <laughs> if you get it right by like by luck or you guess the answer go back study it again get the bio notes and put like get like um, the sections from the bio notes that you're weak 
on it and just copy it to the destroyer book. Okay. Like by every question, what's How important else? do you feel that having a new edition of the um, the bio is? That I saw a website that they actually have the audacity to try to tell kids to use the 2013. The 2013 edition is missing about four to 500 questions. How would you feel if someone tried to say to you, use the 2013 book? Do you find that's a, an accurate thing or do you find that you, know, you need that 2018 book? 2018, because like, the exam is looked like the same like five years ago. Even if you look online, there is like a 2007 that online, it's a free exam. The questions are different. Like, it was very easy. We did that in our easy. group, it's if you remember. It's very easy. Um, I thought so too, that, the, that, the, that this exam got a lot harder. There's a lot more biochemistry yeah. emphasis. That's why I'm always writing new questions exactly. at all times. So, yeah, I mean, I would definitely use the 2018. Like, what what's the difference? I mean, uh, you have the book, there is like, 700 questions, you want to you want to you want to make it right. You're not going to risk your I score for, for $100. I think if you're going to cut a corner, cut it yeah. on a time test. Exactly. Because it means absolutely crap. Like, um, all right, I, I get the idea, but I like to ask the question. And then again, Dan, I know you're anxious to ask the question. Um, what is okay, you got one more question, Raj? I'm sorry. How many times did you do this book? Three times, at least. Three times? Yeah. How long did that take about? No, first time took me so long. Okay. Uh, I'll say like 10 days. 10, 10 days doing bio. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. The last time took me like four hours. And one, I said one, four hours, and uh, I was done with the 700 questions. And yeah. I, I, because I, some of the questions you're going to be like, you feel like, oh, I know that. I know that. Like, and I have to admit, I mean, with all due respect, I didn't feel that you were the giant of my group. No. That you were <laughs> so smart. I mean, Raj was always answering questions. That, that if someone said to me, who did I think was the better student? I might have said Raj. Raj was always there. So, so I think that you just sort of give the example of a guy that worked hard. That, I mean, you weren't the, 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 the Einstein in my group. I mean, you, you really weren't. No, the, thing, and, the thing is, I knew I'm gonna do bad in the reading section. So I, I was like, I have to do really good in the science. So I was studying like really good in the science section. I wanted to score 30 in everything in the science. I was always thinking 30, not 21, not 22. I wanted to know every question. I wanted to know every thing about the science. Well, how hard are you working on reading now? Because I think you speak very good English <laughs> for a guy that just picked up the language. I mean, I think you're amazing. I mean, you're better than my own brother who, 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 who speaks, who spoke English his whole life. I mean, I think you're amazing in English. So, I mean, I mean, what are you doing now? Are you doing some speed reading to try to yeah. get this? Because I know in grad school, you're going to have to do a lot of reading to being a dentist and, you know, moving on in, in life. So what are you planning yeah, on doing? I'm trying to practice more, like to read more. Yeah, but I mean, I couldn't like practice enough before the exam. Huh? I hear you. I was like, I better do the science. <laughs> but okay. now I start like to practice more and read more. Because uh, I personally think with speech. these blazing scores, even with the 15, I, I can't lie, I'm a, I'm a little uneasy with a 15, mm -hmm. you know, but since the sciences are so blazing, I think this is going to be an acceptance. But considering it's not your first language and you can communicate that, yeah. you know, and you give an assurance to the guy that's interviewing you that you're going to continue to improve on the reading, I think that's going to be a big difference moving oh. forward. So. <laughs> um, what exactly did you do for the PAT? That, I think an 18 is pretty good. I know you put all your emphasis in the sciences, you had a, the language barrier to, to get through and everything else, and I think it's a really good grade. But what exactly did you do for the PAT? The PAT I used uh, Crack the PAT, it's like website. Uh, it's $100, I think. Yeah. Uh, I was just doing like one hour every night. So, how many exams on Crack the PAT did you do? Five, maybe. Just five. All right. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't really like interested in <laughs> doing too many like bad problems, but I think Crack the PAT is the thing to use. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty easy, cheap. Yeah. And how about you, Dan? You have, yeah. you have a question. Yeah, I have actually two burning questions. Number one, how would someone prepare to get a good score in the math? Because that's honestly one of my weak points. The math? I, and, I'm sorry, you got a 17, which is fairly good. It's not blazing, but... I would have scored better than 17. It, like the math section, you need to be fast. 
if if you feel like the question is gonna take too long, just skip it. Hi. Skip the question. Don't try. There are some questions that you're gonna answer in 30 seconds, and other questions you're gonna like take two or three minutes. Mm -hmm. Just skip these questions to the end of the exam. If you have time, just go to that question. But I mean I answered exactly 31 questions out of the 40 questions. So I should have skipped some questions. How many Matthews Choir exams did you do? I did all of them. You did all of them? All of them. So do you, you would agree that, that you should do all the math? Because I always hear people say, only do some of the questions. or So you agree, you got to do them all. I mean, I, I can't stress a lot of students, but asking yeah. you, I think, would be pretty uh, You have to do all the exams. There are 11, 11 exams, I guess. Like, yeah, and you can see some questions that they repeat. So uh, you have to do all the exams, I think. Yeah. And as far as the organic chemistry section goes, what what is the secret? Yeah, what's the secret? I mean, I mean, Doctor Ma is a secret. <laughs> tell the other, how would you prepare? Though? What exactly? I know you had my lecture notes. He yeah. did have my lecture notes, but but what else in addition to my lectures? I mean, you went through. I mean, did you use any textbook for Orgo? No. no. I you didn't use any destroy, destroy a book for the Orgo and the lectures. For how about the roadmaps? How did you do the, the roadmaps? The roadmaps are awesome. I mean, how, did you, you, how did you do them? You study them? Do you write them out? No, do you I, get a blackboard? Or no, how what I did, I scanned them, and then I covered the answers. I hear that a lot. Yeah, and then I was like, on my iPad, I would, I would go like and answer right. that, go over the roadmaps. Mm -hmm. So you, ha you have the roadmaps without the answers, and you just go. Do them do like five, six times, and you'll be fine. And I, mean. I had a question that someone asked me yeah. on the study group. If you knew just the first 25 reactions in the front cover of the Argo, would that be enough to carry you for the whole day? Just those 25? And would you agree you need a lot more than just 25 reactions? No, it's not enough. I mean, if you want to score good, you don't want to miss anything. So you have to not only know the reaction, but the stereochemistry, you need to know the laboratory techniques, you need to know the configuration. So, I mean, you had all the weapons. I mean, yeah. I mean, that score is absolutely blazing. I mean, you have the book. You have. If you have the book, you have to know every question in this book. You want to score good? Just go all. Know every question in every section in the bio and the Jenkin. Don't leave a single question. Just know them all. Know the wrong answers, the right answers. Uh, the, the book is not easy. It's not an easy book. But you're gonna set in the exam comfortable with every section in the exam. Okay, and Alexandra, you had a final question. I do have a quick question. Um, Mr. F, how many hours a day did you study approximately? I don't really study so much, but I would say the last month, I was studying like six, seven hours a day. Yeah, but some days I, I was like watching games. And stuff. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to study 24 hours to, to score good. But when you study six hours, you make sure you are actually putting all your like brain. How many months do you give yourself? What kind of horizon? Th three months. Okay, but that varies though. Three, three I mean, of, that's yeah. for you, but a guy like you, I know you've been working a long, longer than three months. So, and you, I mean, I think you've been working now, what, six months, seven months now? I don't even know. So, I mean, I don't think there's any timeline that you can really put. Because uh, sometimes things are going on in your life that you can't really there's no change. strategies that I really worked with. No study plan, nothing. You just know where you're at. Like, it, if, you, if you're, like, strong in the organic chemistry, you're not going to work so much in the organic chemistry. You're going to use the time for the bio. Okay, and I just like to add one other thing before we end. Professor Baron goes, if you can come on over, I just want um, the group to get acquainted. This is our other professor. This is Professor Dennis Baron goes. He's our highly esteemed professor. He was um, from Rockefeller University. He did a lot of research on the HIV virus and mad cow disease. If you got any questions, he's the guy that's behind the scenes that answers a lot of the questions. Um, I don't know if you remember it, but Professor, what do you think of these scores? This was our student, Mr. F. Very good um, look at that orgo and the bio and the gen Considering English was not his first language, he got a 15 on the reading. Scores are very good. Very good scores. But I remember you when Professor Baron Goltz was my student. 
he came right off the boat from, where was it, Ukraine? Yes. And he barely spoke a word of English. And look at him now. The kid is amazing. He knows better English than I do. All right, good seeing you again. Thanks for dropping by, Professor. Thank you. Um, Dr. Amato, I'm just checking my watch here. It looks like you have to get to your afternoon lecture. All right, we're all set. Um, I hope everybody had a good idea. Mr. F is occasionally on our study group, so if you want to give him a little email or say hello, be my guest. All right, thank you very much, and I'll see you guys in study group. Bye-bye.